Good afternoon, students. Welcome to the program, Stay at Home, Study at Home. I'm sure you're at home doing your assignments, projects, and listening to our program. Along with all these things, you may be maintaining social distancing, washing your hands, and eating healthy. I am Dikira Dolkar, teacher of Sir Tashi Namgil Senior Secondary School. Today, I will be taking classes for class 6, and the subject is history. Today's chapter is chapter number 3, in the earliest cities. Students, in my previous class, few were confused with the new book and the old book. So nothing to worry. There was an old edition and a new edition. So in chapter number three in the new edition is in the earliest cities. And in the old edition, it's in chapter number four. The content is same. Everything is same. Students, you are listening to me at 103 FM from All India Radio Gang Talk. I will take class till 1.40. Then after you can call me at 03592201171 to clear your doubts. Nanyaru, abu pornu porsala. Open your book to page number 24, new edition, and the old edition can open to page number 32. Okay, students, before we start the chapter... I'll ask you some questions. Okay, let's start. Have you seen old buildings? Purano gora dego? Katko, matoko. Have you seen some important buildings? Important banebani. It's like monasteries, temples dego. Okay, I take it as a yes. I know you have seen it. Similarly, there were two boys like you, named Jaspal and Harpit who saw an old building while playing cricket. You can see the picture in the orange column in your textbook, page number 24 and old edition 32. They are calling the old building as haunted house. Haunted house usually is where nobody stays, it's a big home, dirty, old. This is a haunted house, but it's actually not a haunted house because nobody stays. I mean, they are bold, they are bold, they are bold, they are bold. So that's called a haunted house. They also see other people who are looking at the building and praising about its architecture and hood carving. Students, architecture here means the rooms, how it is made, how the building is made, how the stairs have been built. All this means architecture and the wood carving. Wood, cut, like khopera banako, and all these things were there in that building. Seems like these people were concerned about the building, so they want to write to minister to preserve the architecture and wood carvings of the building. So students, don't you wonder, when were these old buildings built? Who made it? And many more. Let's start our chapter number three with the first subheading, the story of Harappa. Students, as the name of our today's subject is history meaning studies about the stories of past. I'm sure you like stories, girls. Like stories of Cinderella, Rapunzel and fairies. While boys like the stories of Superman, Batman. But our story is about Harappan civilization, which is real and is one of the important stories of the past. We will know all about the story in detail. It's very interesting. What sounds? Hello, Abu. Harappa ka story pon vasi class six. And amazing. I'm sure you will like it. As we start other stories, long, long ago. Similarly, this story is four thousand seven hundred years ago. These Harappan cities were formed or made. But first, who came to know it? Who knew it? Okay, there were some engineers 150 years ago who were working to lay down railway lines in Punjab where they were working. Engineers are like, railway lay on the track, but now like they have foundation. They found some ready made high quality bricks. Bricks were in Ita. That means that Ita is. They took the ready-made, high-quality bricks, laid down on the railway lines, mm. 
some bricks were lying on the floor where some were on the walls of the old building koi to bui mai thyo koi che building bara phute ko jhore ko thyo now whose building were there who built it to answer all these questions there are people called archaeologist students archaeologist are people who study about the past some 80 years ago they studied the bricks and came to know that this was one of the oldest city in the subcontinent well they study gare okay these people whenever they get an old thing purano saman ar paim study garcha and they found that it was the oldest city sabse purano city ko hamro ita haru rai sa bhanera of a subcontinent subcontinent means the adjoining countries of india like pakistan नेपाल बांग्लादेश दीज आर द एडजोइनिंग श्रीलंका दीज आर द एडजोइनिंग कंट्री सो वी कॉल इट सब कॉन्टिनेंट ये स्टूडेंट्स एज द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इन द अर्लीस्ट सिटीज हरप्पा वे द अर्लीस्ट सिटीज आफ्टर पीपल वे हंटर्स एंड गैदरर्स इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी स्टडी दैट हंटर्स एंड गैदरर्स दी स्टेड इन हट्स दी स्टेड इन केव्स ओके बट नाउ दे वे स्टेइंग इन बिल्ट houses made of bricks so now they had become more and more developed moving to the next subheading what was special about the cities kina poreka hamile yo harappa ki interesting cha aru story pardam ta huncha why we are studying this let's see okay why we are studying this katha sundai chaina students okay the first thing why we are studying about this city is the cities are divided into two parts city was divided in two parts part to the west was smaller but higher archaeologists describe this as the citadel okay there are two parts the part of the west was shano tara oglo well it is citadel bandha archaeologically the part to the east was larger but lower it was called the lower town a simple example hamile bhanchu ni gaun ma matlo gaun tallo gaun तल्लो गाँव मैदान हो ठूल मतलब गाँव अलग हिमाल में अलग मत अग्लो सानो औल लेक भाई ना मतलब गाँवला हमने औल तल्लो गाँवला लेक तेज भाई ना स्टूडेंट्स नाउ व्हाट अबाउट द ब्रिक्स अबाउट द सीटीज ब्रिक्स वे वेल बेक्ड सो इट लास्टेड फर थाउजेंड इयर्स तेल तो हमें ब्रिक्स पाया ब्रिक्स पाए आर्कोलॉजिस्ट ने स्टडी गयो सो वी आर ऑल्सो स्टडिंग इट they are laid in the interlocking pattern interlocking means eura terso yo tharo yo terso yo tharo testo halke ita rakthyo that was a very special thing okay we don't keep it hamra ek ek type ma rakhcha ni that was a special about harappan civilization special building were constructed on the citadel matlo gaun ma je sabai important building okay राजा ते बस्थ्यो कोट पनि त्यै हुन्थ्यो मन्दिर पनि त्यै हुन्थ्यो सो एभ्रीथिङ वाज देयर इन द सिटाडल Now, in Harappan civilization, Harappa is one city. There is one more city that's called Mohenjo-daro. Students, do you know Mohenjo-daro? Mohenjo-daro, your movie, but then you read the question go. Mohenjo-daro, banana. So same way, this story is very important. Why I said because here the picture banana is a yo story, ma. That's why it's important. So Mohenjo-daro is the name of a city. It's a has a very special tank which archaeologists call the great bath was built in this area now when we talk about this they had a very big tank the tank like you bandha sir great bath a bath we all know know no the what is great let's see okay this was lined with bricks coated with plaster and made watertight with a layer of natural tar there were steps leading to it from two sides There were rooms on all sides. Water was probably brought in from a well and drained out after use. Now, when we here compare it, I like oh, we are go great bath. Hamro, I like oh, someone compare got him. So we can just talk about a swimming pool. Swimming pool, bani bricks lay got it sa. Agar tall low deep jano some siri unsa. Same way, but in our swimming pool, waters are brought from pipe. We are go check how many under sa kuwa bara. And when after use. वेल ते ड्रेन आउट भाई बगाई दिद नाउ अब तो ग्रेट बात में को को जाने इंपोर्टेंट पीपल टुक अ डिप इन दिस टैंक ऑन स्पेशल ओकेजन 
you can see the picture of great path on page number 26 the new edition and the old edition can see on page number 34 now this was about Mohenjo-daro now there's other two cities okay it's the name is very new the name is Kalibangan and Lothal had fire altars where sacrifices may have been performed now you can see Hamro Deotathan Gorme Unsa Gorko Choma Unsa okay but here there are fire altars puja garnet home sacrifice garnet home it was away and it was in cities called Kalibangan and Lothal students Katha Sunnu Maja Undaisa it's a very interesting story Mohenjo-daro, Harappa and Lothal had big storehouses. Now, we had studied earlier also that the hunters and gatherers, they stored grains, they stored vegetables. Okay, now here also in Mohenjo-daro, Harappa and Lothal, they had big, big storehouses. I mean, go down once, any storehouse. Thing. Students, Harappan civilization is the name of the group of cities which have flourished near River Indus and other small rivers. As humans need water to survive, so it was developed near the river. So it's called Indus Valley Civilization. Yes, students, you we have in India we have three important Himalayan rivers, okay? The Indus, the Ganga, and the Brahmaputra. So River Indus ma all this Maharappa, Mohenjo-daro, Lothal, Kalibangan cities are there. So they are also known as Indus Valley Civilization. The other name of Harappan Civilization is Indus Valley Civilization. Yes, students, we are studying classics history and the name of the chapter is In the Earliest Cities. Sundai sir? Okay. Now, very interesting thing is, let's talk about the houses, the drains and streets. Houses, you know, drains means nali, kolcha, and streets mean the roads. Now, houses were either one or two story with rooms built around the courtyard. Separate bathing areas, some had wells to water supply. Now, we're going to own it. Cities had covered drains, they had a gentle slope. Now they are drains, they were covered, covered, they are very clean, isn't it? And had a gentle slope, they were very clean, gentle. Drains and houses were connected to those on the streets, and smaller drains led into the bigger ones. We are going to say, Drains were covered so inspection holes were provided at intervals to check them and clean them. Now inspection holes, what is that? Inspection holes means Amile Bansa Dobbu. Isto batum holes and a dobbu palam ko dobbu and zakoi road mounts, a koi koseko, gorko angan mounts, a dobbu me esa na bitra, maila saki sofas and ali. We check it. So, same way they also had it, but they called it inspection holes. All where all the houses, drains, and streets were planned. Student, this story of Harappa is very important as 4,700 years ago, people had everything planned. Imagine students, they throw old story and everything was planned. We had good drains. When I talk about drains, you're an adult man, okay? A person who is an adult, they throw height coach or nali That means how planned they had made their cities, how planned they had made their drains. Where the houses been doing talamate. The streets were clean, covered, okay? So this is very new, okay? So that's why we are starting this Harappan civilization. Now let's talk about the next subtopic, life in the city. It's in page number 27, old edition can see in page number 35. Harappan city were a busy place. It was a busy place means in the city everyone is busy. Whenever we go to a city life, everyone is doing their work, moving from one place to another. Same way, it was a busy place and they had a system called barter system. That's a barter system, I mean. Suppose, paisa bina ko hamile business karo. If I want grains and I have vegetables, okay, mala grains sign sa, tar mere ma vegetables sa bani I exchange with someone else, bring the grains 
and give the vegetables okay that is called barter system now the buildings okay agi amle bhane dui tala building thyo ek tala dui tala now who planned it the rulers planned the special buildings rulers sent people to distant lands to get metal precious stones etc gold silver they kept it for themselves now rulers are sabai linu pathaun thyo gold ra silver ra hamcha afno lagi rakh thyo okay now there were people called scribes अब यो सिटी लाइफ में हरप्पा को सीटी में देर वाई ग्रुप अफ पीपल दे वे नोन एज स्क्रिप्स पीपल हु न्यू हाउ टू रीड एंड राइट हु प्रिपेयर सील्स ना स्टूडेंट्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सील्स भाई हमें रातो मटो पूरा खेला खेला मुच्यो पानीसंग मुच्यो तैदि ते हमें कई मार्क गयो ते मार्क करें कई बनाए दैन वी आगो में डरा All these things, if you do it, then they become seals. So scripts are like this. Are really true. If they had written on the other materials, it not have survived. Still, archaeologists are like Harappan seals are true. Okay, well, it is really like that. That's why we still have it. But till now, we don't know what is written on seal. We don't know the language. What does it means? Few seals had picture of animals, so we can assume that this type of animals Harappans had, as whatever you see around, you print or make. Yes, some seals, कोसे कोसे seals मतलब animals को इस तो नक्सार बनाक्स हैं. Then we can say, okay, that time that type of animals found in that place. Like when you students see Pokemon, you start painting Pokemon, isn't it? Same way they saw that type of animal, they started painting. This that type of animal on the seals, so that was a seals can only be read through pictures. Then we can assume. I mean, what the idea laga ko ki tya this to halke animal thi wala banir. Now students, city ma aje Harappan city ma there were some other people also. They were called craftsperson. Like we have craftsperson who make all kinds of things like baskets and weaving and all these things is done. So they were craftsperson. They were travelers. No. Traveling from one place to another and returning with stories. Okay, now the ones who travel from one place to another they have lots of stories, isn't it? When you go to Delhi, somebody in your class goes to Delhi. Why don't you forget it, Mom? My little Taj Mahal, look. My little Red Fort, look. Kutub Minar, look. Metro Mansoor. So, had so many stories to share, isn't it? So there were also some people called travelers. Now there was a very different thing in Harappan civilization, that was called terracotta. Terracotta, terracotta is a very new name for you, as you play with toys. You play with toys, isn't it? You play toys are made up of plastics, but their toys was not made of plastic. Where was the plastic? Thin um thin. Where did the? What was the toys made up of? It was made up of mud and clay. Okay. So toys the children played with was called terracotta. You can see the picture of terracotta on page number twenty-seven new edition and page number thirty-five old edition on the right hand side. Did you see it? Shen shenu mato ko raisa ni. Ah, kyan sa oxuru banako. Did you see it, students? Are you still? Are you understanding? Are you getting to me? Okay, students. New crafts in the city. Now they are. What were the new crafts which were found in Harappan civilization? Let's study about objects found in Harappan city. Archaeologists have found stone, shell, metal like copper. Copper, what we call it? Tamba, bronze, kasa, gold, sun, silver. You know, chandi. Copper and bronze were used to make ornaments, vessels, tools, and weapons. अब जब ती copper and bronze अलग सस्तों ने they used to make vessels मतलब मारा कुरा बनाये tools और बनाये उनको weapons. Previously, the hunters and gatherers made tools of bones, stones. Okay, but now the people had started making tools of copper and bronze, gold and silver to make only ornaments and vessels. Perhaps the most striking finds are those of beads, weights. Weights and blades. Okay, in Harappan civilization, but something different was found was beads. Beads, I mean, some kind of motiyar, isn't it? Nothing expensive. Some kind of motiyar, but now weights. I mean, the first time I saw them, I was shocked. Isn't it? That was there, and it was blades. Blades, I mean, the earlier people used the blades as bones. 
But now the blades when you have a little bit of 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 a now you can see their pictures on page number 28 and 36. Harappans also made pots with beautiful black designs. Now very different, isn't it? We have pots with black color on the race. Very different. Cotton was probably grown at Meherkar from about 7,000 years ago. Pieces of cloth were found attached to the lid of the silver vase and some copper objects at Mohenjo-daro. Now, when we talk about hunters and gatherers, we don't know they used to wear clothes or not. But when you talk about Harpan civilization, oh, Luga long theory. Because Luga che kathyo vasco or hippori. Silver vase, copper objects, ali ali kapra bete kathyo. So they used cloth, they used to wear clothes because they used cloth from cotton. They made cloth from cotton. Archaeologists have also found spindle wools. Spindle wools mean the charkha, cotton, banana, but their spindle wools are not made up of wood or steel. It was made up of mud, of terracotta, okay? And it fans, fans is something which is not shining. It was charkha, they say, but it was made of mud and it was not that attractive one, okay? But even then, they could make it. Students, are you understanding? Are you listening to me? Okay. We'll continue it after a short break. Ayurved Marfat COVID-19 ko prakop bata basna rog pratirodhak chhamata badaune ke samanya upay ra vidhi haru. Din bhari paryapta matra ma garam pani piun hos. Dinahu nyunatam 30 minute samma yoga abhyas, pranayam sathai meditation ko abhyas Ayush Mantralay ko disha nirdesh anusar garnu hos. Aphna dainik vojan ma hardi, jeera, dhaniya, adhwa adi ko prayog garnu hos. Ayurved Marfat rog pratirodhak chhamata athwa immunity badaune ke upay haru. Bihan pratidin 10 gram athwa 1 chamach chavan pra को सेवन गर्न होस् दिनमा दुई पल्ट सम्म किसमिस सुखा दवा कालो मरिच दालचिनी तुलसी मिश्रित पेय पदार्थ अथवा हर्बल चिया पिउनुहोस् गोल्डन मिल्क अथवा 150 मिलीलिटर दूधमा आधा चम्ची हर्दी मिलाएर दिनमा दुई पल्ट सम्म पिउनुहोस् यसको साथै साधारण रोग प्रतिरोधक क्षमता बढाउने केही विधिहरू बिहान बेलुकी तिलको तेल वा नरिवलको तेल वा घिउ नाकको दुईवटा पोलमा अलिअलि लगाउनुहोस् ओइल पुलिंग थेरापी एक चम्मच तिल अथवा नरिवलको तेलले दुई देखि तीन मिनट सम्म मुख कुल्ला गर्नुहोस् त्यसपछि तातो पानीले मुख खकाल्नुहोस् यो विधि दिनमा दुई पल्ट गर्नुहोस् यसरी नै सुखा खोकी लाग्दा अनि घाटी दुख्दा गरिने सामान्य विधि ताजा पदिनाको पत्ता अथवा ज्वानोको दानाको बाफ लिनुहोस् मह अथवा नेचुरल सुगरमा लौंगको पाउडर मिलाएर दिनमा दुई तीन पल्ट सेवन गर्नुहोस् यति गर्दा पनि साधारण सुखा खोकी अनि घाटी दुखेको निको नभए झट्ट डाक्टर कहाँ सम्पर्क गर्नुहोस् स्वास्थ्य एवं परिवार कल्याण विभाग अधीनस्थ सिक्किम राज्य आयुष प्रकोष्ठद्वारा जनहितमा जारी हजुर कसैसित हात नमिलाउनुहोस् कसैसित अंगालो नमार्नुहोस् कसैलाई सर्दी खोकी चलिरहेको छ भने कम्तीमा 3 फिटको दूरी बनाइ राख्नुहोस् सार्वजनिक स्थानहरुतिर जहाँ भीडभाड हुन्छ त्यहाँ नजानुहोस् सार्वजनिक ठाउँतिर नथोक्नुहोस् अहिले घडी अनावश्यक यात्रा नगर्नुहोस् दोकानतिर किनबेच गर्दा पनि कम्तीमा 1 मिटर अथवा 3 फिटको दूरी बनाइ राख्नुहोस् कुनै प्रकारको झुटो खबरमा ध्यान नदिनुहोस् न अतालिनुहोस् यदि तपाईलाई यो रोग संक्रमणको आशंका भए आफूलाई सेल्फ क्वारेन्टाइनमा राख्नुहोस् सावधानी अपनाउ यो महामारीबाट आफू बाचौ अनि अरूलाई पनि बचाउ Welcome back students. We are studying classics history and the name of the chapter is In the Earliest Cities. And you are listening to me at 103 FM from All India Radio Gang Talk. Now students, till now we studied so many things about Harpan civilization. Now we will study in search of raw materials. Now the raw materials, what did they use? What are raw materials? Suppose I need to open a biscuit factory. Well, a biscuit factory holders, huh? What are the raw materials? Raw materials means I need wheat flour, malai maida chayo, chini chayo, ghee chayo, tail chayo, machine chayo. 
So these are raw materials for a biscuit factory. Same way, the Harappan civilization people also needed raw materials. So what were their raw materials? Let's study. Raw materials are substances that are either found naturally, such as wood or ores of metals, or produced by the farmers or herders. Now, all the raw materials cannot be found. They are copper, silver, they are found. But some raw materials has to grow, like cotton has to grow, wheat has to grow. Okay, So the farmers and herders, like for a cheese paneer, like a dud, a herder. A person looking after the cow has to take off the milk, has to make paneer. So milk is the raw material. Cotton produced by farmers is a raw material that may be processed to make cloth. Similarly, wheat for roti, biscuit, whatever we make it. Some of the raw materials were locally available like copper, tin, gold, silver and precious stones from distant land. Now the Raw materials were not found everything in Harappan civilization. For some we had to borrow from different different places. Now copper, Rajasthan. Okay, that time it was known by a different name, we don't know, okay. But now present day it is called Rajasthan. Then it was bronze. Bronze was bought from present day Afghanistan. Gold was bought from present day Karnataka, and precious stone was bought from Gujarat. So these were the four important metals which were got from other places. Now, when you stay in a city, you need vegetables, you need grains, you need fruits. Now, who provided them? Suppose I stay in Gangtok, who provides me? The people who grow, who stay in the villages, they grow and they sell in the market. Now, who provided it? People who lived in the countryside grew crops and reared animals. Farmers and herders supplied food to craftspersons, scribes, rulers in the cities. Now, craftspersons, scribes, rulers, or bazanabastyo were the khanu So, farmers and herders, herders means the people who look after the cattle, goat, sheep, are known as herders. Okay, so you can see in page number 30, the new edition, the old edition, you can see at page number 38. Now, what did they grow? I mean, this to khandi khandi na alai. Are you listening to the story? So let's see, let's compare. Okay, I mean, this is the same Wheat, gong, khandarisa. barley, jong, pulses, dal, peas, mutter, rice, samal, sisum, til, linseed, alsi, mustard, tori. Eh, I mean, this is the same thing. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. Harappan civilization. Now, they grew it, okay? Did they grow as we grow in our agriculture field? Did they use the same instruments and tools? Let's see. Yes. They used plow. Hollow. I'm listening to the word. Plow was a new tool for them to dig the earth for turning the soil and planting seeds. Real plow haven't been made of would have not survived. Toy models have been found. Okay, now, well, all those along the way, I mean, like, because of the yat payo, and the head is a we're going all the pani marahela, kuyala, goyala. It was made of wood. We also use the same plow made of wood. Now, it can be seen in the toys, terracotta toys, maje, shenchen hollow banana, the hernani, the kele, just to bana kutima, tula bana, shenu bana, kunzaina, bana kutikila, nani, the shenchen nani, the gas machine, unza, same way. So we came to know, okay, yes, they used plow. I mean, that's all those along there. Now let's see. Hamro, that's the pani porda se porda na se. As it was near river Indus, irrigation was done. Rainfall was very less. Okay, now we're going to pani pro komti barasa. And irrigation is a pattern where you make a, like pani tannu khola bara. Siyano nali bana rafno bari ma pani tannu like even sa irrigation, okay. They reared cattle, sheep, goat, buffalo. Pastures were found around. Pastures mean grass. Junche animals like hansa, telavans are pastures. In dry season, large herds were taken to distant places. They also caught fish and haunted wild animals. Well, this haunt many gods of fish, many amile. Bolsia, little fish, pokrin, saina, matcha manuzan, saina. So, same way, they also used to do it. So, something it's very. Similar, I mean, this is the same thing. This is the same civilization. Are you understanding, students? Okay. Now let's have a closer look of Harappan towns in Gujarat. Till now, we studied 
that we're going to get you much longer at all lick lower down and sit out there upper town was known as sit out now there was a city called Dholavira which was located at the Khadar Beit in the Ran of Kutch where there was fresh water and fertile soil the soft pani and soil mali lo mato like in the fertile soil Dholavira was divided into three parts aru agi ko ke thyo Mohenjo-daro Kalibangan Lothal ar ke thyo two dui ta part mate thyo isko the tin ta part se the name of the place is Dholavira Dholavira was surrounded with massive stone walls with entrance through gateways. There is also a large open area in the settlement where public ceremonies were held. Okay, now public ceremonies usually means marriages, crowning of the king. So all this was held in a big place. Okay, they had a public place. Harappan's writings have been found on small objects and such as seals. Now, sends and seals when they are Okay. Now let's talk about Lothal. Lothal that we discussed it earlier, stood beside a tributary of Sabarmati in Gujarat, close to the Gulf of Khambat. Semi-precious stones were easily available. It was an important center for making objects out of stone, shell and metal. There was a storehouse in the city. Many seal and ceilings were found in this storehouse. Now when we talk about storehouse, previously we said grains were stored, vegetables, fruits were stored, but here they used to store the seal. They used to write or the words or they used to make the pictures. They used to store it. Okay, so we have till now. A workshop for making beads, pieces of stone, half-made beads, tools for bead making and finished bead have also been found. When we talk about this, there are workshop. Workshop means work. shop So there was a place, bead banaone, chanchan moti banaone. It was there and it was so their workshop has been found in Lothal. Okay. So when I talk about seal, I'll just give you an explanation of seal. I mean, if you have a speed post, if you have seen your parents packing some uh, things inside a cloth, and the post office, they put up something, stamp on it. They are called seals and ceilings. Okay. Seal means that the ratula, ceilings mean the stamp. You can't get it, you can't get it. Okay. You don't get in the courier service, but you see in the, uh, usually in the post office. Now, this was all the story of Harappan civilization. Okay. They had a very good cities, they had very good houses, they had very good drains, very good streets, they ate like us, their rainfall was less, but even then they grew so many crops, okay? They had a very big, great bath, but, So let's study about it. The mystery of the end. How did it end it? Maybe, okay, now this is all maybe because it was 4,700 years ago. Everybody can say only maybe because nobody has lived. People have stopped living in many of the cities, maybe. Writing seals and weights were no longer used. Up seals, so long means it's a very difficult work. So maybe people started, stopped using it. Well, they would talk along then all the weights. Raw materials became rare because when you take up raw materials from one place, suppose I take up copper, or from one place, khani re nikalim the sockchani. Petrol nikal, petroleum nikalim sockchani ek jago ek din ek din. Maybe it finished. Mohenjo Daro, that was a big city. Garbage piled upon the streets. They are thupre maila, manche maila thupre. That manche boshnu chore. That maybe the reason. Drainage system broke down because to dhami drainage system thiyo. Naali atro thulo thiyo. Is to dhami thiyo. Maybe there was a flood. Bhol poyra ayala. Scholars suggest rivers dried up. Not that in this river, but small, small rivers, maybe Sabarmati Ashram or Sabarmati River, Sukhyala, maybe, it can, it, it's all maybe, okay. Others suggest there was deforestation. It may be. Grazing of cattle, sheep, goat has destroyed the soil covers. Now, when we talk about this, there is no grass no grass is grown, okay? So, uh, the place may have turned into desert. Flooding or river drying up would have been the reason. That may be the two reasons. And rulers lost their control. When Raja Arubayo, 
उसे आपको प्रजा में थी कंट्रोल कर सकेन होगा दैट मे बी ओल्सो वन अफ द रिजन नाउ सिंध वेस्ट पंजाब व एबैंडन्ड मीन्स पीपल स्टप्ड लिविंग इट नाउ सिंध एंड वेस्ट पंजाब नाउ दे आर नट योर इन इंडिया जस्ट इन पंजाब योर इट्स नाउ इन पाकिस्तान हरपन सिविलाइजेशन नाउ इट वॉज इन पाकिस्तान ओके हाफ पार्ट इज इन इंडिया एंड हाफ पार्ट इज इन पाकिस्तान सो पीपल स्टार्ट एबैंडन इट मीन्स पीपल स्टॉप्ड लिविंग दे मे बी सो दीज आर ऑल द मे बी रीजन्स गिवन बाय द आर्कोलॉजिस्ट ओके बिकॉज नो बडी हेज लिव्ड दैट वॉज द रीजन विच वी केम टू नो सो स्टूडेंट्स टू डे वी स्टार्टिट अबाउट द हरपन सिविलाइजेशन कथा सुन्न मजा आला है दैट इज अ वेरी इंट्रेस्टिंग स्टोरी एंड दिस स्टोरी इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू for your higher classes because you have to study this harappan civilization where till you pass out till class 12 and moreover if you take up history as a history ponem your harappan civilization very interesting one say so hope you enjoyed it so we'll have a recap so pay mila ra herung la ke ke bhai sa bhanera harappan civilization was the first known in punjab we studied punjab ko engineers ra khodal da kheri yaad paye bricks paye so it was 4000 years ago it existed in the one of the oldest civilizations of say purano civilization once okay that's why we are studying it they had matlogon or tallogon aulra lake thyo okay mohenjo daro ma ke thyo great bath swimming pool okay tya ka manche swimming pool but not for everyone okay but only for important people drainage street houses all planned or ka sab cheez planned thyo that's why we are studying about them seals pictures and animals harappan was a busy place pictures of the seals ma of animals some were written and it was a very busy place crafts person travelers were seen and they all used terracotta terracotta is something new word for you and that was a toy small small toys which you can see the pictures okay in your book that certain terracotta toys that was played by the children of that age at that place gold copper silver bronze to make tools were used raw materials were some naturally available and some were grown naturally available kithyo copper bronze this was naturally available to them okay that they used to grow wheat cotton and other raw materials now where did they get copper from they got copper from rajasthan they got cop bronze from afghanistan they got gold from karnataka and they got other precious stones but i'm saying precious other precious stones means hamle horyo dunga dekhsan rato dunga munga har bancha emerald we call it turquoise nilo they all got it from gujarat harpan grew ke ke grow gartyo wheat barley pulses peas rice and sesam sesam banem til and now they start they did agriculture but the water they got it was they didn't get it from rainfall the rainfall was very very less they got all it from irrigation kholabara tanera gartyo and we studied that they had two parts of the city lothal kalibangan mohenjodaro harappa all had two parts of the city tar dhola vira ko che what happened it was the three parts quite amazing isn't it dhola vira it was something different because it was a third part of the city third part ma je tin ta part banako hunda raha cha it's only in dhola vira okay and we studied the end of the civilization because maybe people had left the place or the people had not continued with the place this so this may be some of the reasons so students uh, at page number 33 in the new edition and the old edition page number 41 you can see the picture of a pyramid did you see did you open the book and did you see page number 33 and uh, old edition 41 pyramid we have seen chu 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 triangle padega dekhe hai na so let's see around 5000 years ago kings ruled over egypt these kings sent armies to distant lands to get gold silver ivory timber and precious stones they also built huge tombs known as pyramids pyramids means tombs कोई मं मरी सके याद में बना कसले चौतारा बना कसले कई सामान चे बने ठावर बना ओके हवागर बना सो दे यूज टू मेक इट पिरामिड्स ओके व्हेन दे डाई द बॉडीज अफ किंग्स वे प्रिजर्व एंड बरिड इन दीज पिरामिड्स दीज केयरफुली प्रिजर्व बॉडीज एंड नोन एज मम्मीज यू नो वॉट्स मम्मीज मम्मीज को मुवीज हर पूरा हेरे है तिमें 
So mummy is one of the things. So here also when we talk about this civilization, okay, pyramids go, it's a very important civilization. That's called Nile Valley Civilization. Nile is the longest river in the world and it's called Nile Valley Civilization. A large number of objects were also buried with them. This included food and drink, clothes, ornaments, utensils, musical instruments with the rulers. They are amongst the most elaborate burials known in the world history. Now, quite amazing. Nile Valley Civilization, my Egypt matter, okay. So what they did is when a person dies, then what happens? They used to put everything with them. The weapons, the clothes, the ornaments, the instruments, everything with them. They used to keep with them. That was a very different uh, practice that was followed in Nile Valley Civilization. Students is now, it is already 1.40. If you have any queries or you want to clear your doubts, you can call me at 03592201171. Okay, now we were discussing about the Nile Valley civilization. So, these pyramids still there. They are in Egypt. They have a very important place there. They take it as a historical place. And this has an important place in the history. Till I get your phone calls, you can turn to page number 34. In the new edition and the old edition can take, turn to page now 42 where we can discuss few of the questions which are there. We are getting a call. Let's see who's there on the other side. Sorry, it got, got disconnected. So there is a first question. Did you see? Let's recall. Let's have a recap. How do archaeologists know the cloth was used in the Harappan civilization? I discussed it earlier also while I was teaching the chapter. We have a phone call out here. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh, the phone got disconnected. So we are discussing that. How did the archaeologists knew that the Harappan civilization people used cloth? Uh, they, yes, they used cloth. The cloth was attached to silver vessels and copper objects in Mohenjo-daro. Copper. Tambako, Bharako, Bharaaru, Kateo, Botukaru, Bayo, Vases, Vessels, Banimini. This is a good thing. Aliali, Kopraaru, Theo, okay. Aliali, Kopra design gun right. So people came to know, yes, they used cloth. So we have a phone call out here. Hello. It got disconnected. Maybe there is a congestion. You can just wait. Everybody may be trying at the same time. So the phone is getting disconnected time and again. So there is a one more activity in the same page. Match the column. Very interesting thing. Okay. Students like it. I know match the column is something where you just don't think too much. So here we talk about is where did the people get copper, gold, tin and precious stone? I repeat it many times. Where did they get copper, gold, tin and precious stones? Copper. Copper. They got it from present day. They call it Rajasthan. And gold. Gold. They got it from Karnataka. Are you marking on your book? I'm sure you're doing it. Okay. It makes your work easier. You can do it later in your copies also. Tin. Tin, they got it from Afghanistan. And precious stones, they got it from Gujarat. So all the precious stones, they got it from Gujarat. Now the third question was then, why were metals writing the wheel and the plow important for the Harappans? It was very important for them. They are asking a question, why were metals writings and the wheel and the plow important for the Harappans okay now metals when we talk about metals Harappans used as tools weapons ornaments they use all the metals to make tools weapons and ornaments and writings writings they did on seals they made some pictures of animals and sometimes they wrote some words and the wheel we know that wheel People in the olden times they made all the pots, mud pots, matko bana. So, pikiyabon thiyo wheel le bana thiyo. Still, thiyo 
diaru amne diksa mato go shen shen uru still they, it's made on wheels and the plow plow we all use for agriculture now there is a fourth question out them make a list of all the terracotta toys shown in the lesson which do you think children would have enjoyed playing with the most now you can see there are so many pictures of terracotta toys of which are played by the children now you can see the picture of plow hollow wheel cut belgari bull cut so these are the some toys which are shown in the chapter plow maybe among this three i guess i guess okay you may be guessing something else you may be guessing it may be plow it may be wheel cut or bullock cut but i guess it's wheel cut because chakka cha bhani ke huncha nani le kuda ko kuda ko garcha ni te chakka haina gari cha bhani na ko ina ko kuda ko kuda garcha that may be the reason okay but it may be something else you may be feeling it plow or bullock cut now there is a question number 5 make a list of what the harpoons ate put a tick mark against the things you eat today now we discussed what did they grow and what did they eat they ate various things okay so i'll repeat it again it's wheat barley peas pulses rice sesame linseed mustard so these are the things which we also eat wheat 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 aata khancha barley jau khancha ami peas khancha matar khancha pulses rice dal sesame til khancha linseed alsi and mustard tori ko tel khancha so whatever they ate we ate it okay so that's nothing different yes whatever they grew we also grow whatever they ate we also eat now there is the next question question number 6 do you think that the life of farmers and herders who supplied food to the harappan cities was different from that of the farmers and herders you read about it in chapter number 3 yes uh, it was a bit different they sat in one place they stayed in one place and did the agriculture and the farmers and herders also did the same thing but now they were doing only for the people of the farmers and herders they were growing only for themselves but in this case in harappan civilization the farmers and herders were doing the cultivation to feed the people who stayed in the cities was uh, staying in the cities the craftsperson the rulers they need to eat okay so all these things need to be provided the food has to be provided by the farmers so they did the cultivation to feed others and the farmers and herders of hunters and gatherers they did to feed themselves it was for their own purpose okay students are you understanding i'm sure because today you don't have a confusion with the chapter numbers and the page numbers because i have time and again said the, the page numbers of both the new edition and the old edition and you're marking the answers in your back of your lesson let's recall let's discuss now we are towards the end of the lesson and towards the end of the exercise let's do now let's do it okay Pay, uh, question number 7 describe three important buildings in your city or village are they located in a special part of settlement what are the activities that takes place in these buildings now when we talk about the buildings around us you may be having different buildings around you i may be having different buildings around me you can just make different building what i mean important yeah timo chou chou ma purana purana building or ke ke sa tesko naam lekha people staying in namji would say okay i have uh, important buildings near me is char dham people staying at yuksa will say okay important building near me is dubdi monastery people staying in rumtek may say okay rumtek monastery is something big and like important building for them and people staying in west near peling they would say rabdan say it's very important because it's the second capital of sikkim so they have very important you have your own important buildings okay so you have own important buildings and now the second part of the question says what are the activities so when is a monastery all the activities of monastery rituals are taking place puja huncha pat puja huncha but when we talk about rabdan say this was the second capital of sikkim so when we talk about this the court room thala the raja basthe hola the well court rakthe hola over ko sabha basthe hola so this was the activity that carried out okay so different places have different important buildings around you now the last question of the lesson is 
are there any old buildings in your locality find out how old are they and who looks after them now i've ju just given the question that in your locality you may have a old building we all have a old building in and around our place okay it may be sometimes a monastery or a temple for me uh, like today i'll give you an example the people the students who stay around gangtok who are listening to me have been to whitehall i'm sure whitehall is one of the oldest building which we have in gangtok around okay there are so many but i just want to give you one example of whitehall that's up there um it's in near the rich park near the flower show it's white in color okay so everybody has seen that okay that was something an old building and it was built in 1932 and this building is not built by the people of sikkim this it was built by the sikkim but it was had a british architecture all the rooms all the style it's made by british architecture the people from britishers who stayed in british britain they had come to plan out how the building has to be made and it is called white hall so it painted white so it's all white in color still it is white in color whenever the students who are away from gangtok whenever you come here when you visit gangtok just have a glimpse of white hall and why was it built it was built on the memory of the first political officer of sikkim so he was the first british political officer okay and it is his name was cloud white so his name was cloud white so it was built at uh, so it is named as white hall okay and it was a officer club officer club means they meet met for like badminton or to play some chess or to play discuss or many other activities so it was known as officers club okay so white hall is one of the important buildings and the oldest building which we have here in sikkim in gangtok around okay you may have some very interesting buildings in and around you you can take a note just now you at home you can just see if you are near rabdan say you can just take a note because whenever a building is there a board is kept there okay a board is kept there and it's given all the information about the building okay now now students we were talking about harappan civilizations okay so harappan civilization was one of the most important civilization and one of the oldest civilization of the subcontinent so we had to study about it and when we talk about this oldest civilization uh, there are some uh, there's a department in sikkim government that's called culture and heritage department okay wherever there is a old buildings okay when just be jaspal and harpreet first time show saw an old building near the locality they call it a haunted house but no it was not a haunted house it had a very perfect architecture same way the government of sikkim the culture and heritage department they preserve these type of houses and huts which have reached 100 years because they have a very different architecture their woods are different their rooms are different their banauti style or or ko banauti or different unsa so the government preserves them well kina je bacha kala त्यो घरहरू बचाउन किन छ भत्काएर बिगार्दा हुन्थ्यो होला नि नो दे हेभ सेभ्ड इट बिकज द न्युअर जेनरेसन द यंगर जेनरेसन क्यान सी इट किनभने वी आर एबल टू सी बिकज द गवर्मेन्ट हेज प्रोटेक्टेड इट सिमिलरली आवर नेक्स्ट कमिङ जेनरेसन क्यान सी इट सो दिस वॉज द आइडिया अफ प्रिजर्विङ दिस बिल्डिङ्स ओके सेम वे द हरपन सिभिलाइजेसन सील्स एन्ड ब्रिक्स आर स्टिल प्रिजर्व सो दॅट the younger generation the next generation can see it study it okay these are the things they studied they used it they, these are the things they like uh, used for agriculture these were the things they used for crafts person they these were the beads these were the seals okay so this was the whole idea of knowing the harappan civilization okay students hope you enjoyed it that was a very interesting story like batman and superman and fairies and rapunzel this is also one of the most important and one of the most interesting story okay classic students i hope you understood this chapter in the earliest cities